Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. I was really honoured to be asked to be part of the hashtag Everyday Art Hop, which is hosted by Peg Atkins Robinson. Thanks Peg for asking me. And the whole idea is make art every day. How do I make art every day? I wish I could say that I do, but I do try and make a little bit of time here and there. And that's why these little journals that I'm going to show you today are so easy to pop into your purse along with a couple of pens and whatnot and when you're sitting at a coffee shop waiting for somebody if you're on the bus the train the tram or maybe not the tram because they're a bit too jiggly but you know what I mean you can make a little bit of art so I'm not going to explain completely how I make my little journals if you go and have a look on YouTube for Tisha Moore's um, amazing, fantastic 16-page journal, you'll find uh, the method that I use. However, today I've just taken any size paper, I think it was a piece of mixed media paper from my Strathmore McCanson mixed media paper, and I folded the pages that I tore in half in half again. So each one has got a centre seam. From there on I've decided willy-nilly how I actually choose to fold the balance of the journal. Some of them you'll see are, are folded into half again, others into a third, others into two thirds and it really just is as the fancy takes me. So here I have uh, measured out some dental floss I know dental floss is supposed to be used in your mouth, but I use it for my journals too, only because I don't know where to get waxed twine uh, journaling bookbinding stuff. And besides which, you know what, this is not a professional bookbinding lesson or a journal for me. It's just a little something that gives me some pleasure. So tooth floss it is. So as you can see there, I'm following, I'm folding, I beg your pardon, I'm folding all of my little um, pages as I feel fit and now I've taken out some acrylics. I chose some colours and they're not all from the same brand as you can see but I chose a palette of colours that are suitable for me and also a palette that won't really make any mud except of course if you use the yellow and the purple then you're bound to get mud. I also have found um, this gloves in a bottle to be truly handy especially when working with acrylics it really doesn't mess up your nail polish <laughs> but anyway so using my fingers I'm just splotching on bits of paint here and there and as I said uh, the only thing to really be careful of is that beautiful uh, Dina Wakely Media Blackberry Violet it is so so intense and when it gets stuck in with the yellow, guaranteed you're going to get a bit of icky mud. So I'm sort of keeping it away from the yellow. I'm also using um, the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylics. The blue is a beautiful light blue, and the green is called Bright Aqua Green. The Amsterdam pink that I'm using is just their uh, magenta, which I just love. And then finally, the yellow is by Montmartre Dimension, and it's a medium yellow. I must say that yellow is transparent, which actually served me quite well in the balance of the journal. Initially, I thought, oh no, um, everything else is opaque, sort of-ish, and the yellow is going to shine through. Well, actually, I quite like the effect that it's given me. Now, when using the pink and the yellow, you're going to get a beautiful orange. So you can see I've finished the cover and I just love um, the way that the colours have blended. I've also punched out, just using a piece of cardboard, a little flowery thing and um, some numbers. And then I'm going to use some twine that I re it will repurpose from something that I had years ago. Now, I've decided that um, because my journal that I'm, that I'm making here is merely going to be um, in black and white even though it's so in full colour but you'll see what I mean just now the little punch the whole um, the little punches that I made are in black and white predominantly and they're going to adorn the front cover 
merely to give it a little bit more um, sustenance or substance so that I can put a hole through it. So here's a flip through of the journal as I've painted it up and I've used the same base acrylic colors. The only thing that I've done is I have watered them down. Now here you'll see me showing you that uh, the spreads can be used as a complete spread or as per the folds you can actually make them into four or five different um, spreads or pages. So yeah, as I said, the I've watered down the acrylics. It gives us a very, very different look to what you saw on the cover. But the cover I wanted a little bit sturdier. And by the way, I will put Modge Podge, I don't know if I said that right, over the cover when I finished it. Okay, so here's the little cover now completed. And um, I'm just going to show you quickly that this can be taken with you in a little wallet. Um, I've adorned the front of it and there you'll see it says black and white and in full colour. I used the I used my silhouette um, cameo uh, cutter thing in my gaffer, uh, to cut out the words full colour. And this is what I'm going to use is I might take some black and white printables with me. So if I do, I need a glue stick and a pair of scissors. And then um, I've also got a selection of black and white pens because I've chosen that this little book will just merely be for putting black and white um, elements into it because it's so hectically colored. And while it takes a little bit of time to prepare the little journal, it actually is so neat because you can pop it in your in a little bag like this, put your pens and goodies in, and you can put it in your purse. It's ready to go. And you don't have to work on it each and every day, but I'll show you some of the little journals here that I've done over the past couple of years. And in, in a similar fashion, I've prepared the backgrounds, like this one, for instance, is a jelly print um, background journal. And it's merely for text because the jelly print is so pretty. This one, I, if I remember correctly, is also acrylics. And um, there we go. You can see it was more Zen inspired. So that's poke root, one of the poke, uh, one of the Zen tangles. This little journal again was just a hodgepodge of anything and everything. I kept it at my desk at work, and when I found something, I cut it out, stuck it in, wrote on it, etc. And so I'm going to do the same with my little black and white and in full colour journal. And I really hope this will inspire you to make some art every single day. I'm going to try myself. So here the front page um, says that it's the hashtag everyday art hop and that I was invited by Peg to do this. And then today I've actually doodled a little bit and I will write and journal in the balance or rather on the balance of that sheet. This is just a little picture I found on Pinterest and I've cut it out and stuck it down so that might be ready for another day of journaling. So there we go people. I hope that you will also uh, do a little bit of art every single day. It really makes my heart happy and I wish I had more time in the day to do more art but the little bit that I can do in such a tiny journal really is a blessing for me. So thank you to Peg and all the other wonderful artists on this hop. Um, please go and have a look at their, uh, their videos as well. The links are below and in the description. The links are in the description. So follow all of us. Everybody's made a huge effort to bring you some joy to your art every day. And finally, if you like my video, please will you consider subscribing and then come on over to Art Journal Junkie and join me on, at Facebook and share your art with us as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Now go make art. Take care. Bye for now.